Salmon farms act as incubators or, or magnifiers of sea lice. Essentially, the, the sea lice will, will graze on the mucus, on the skin, and the sea trout is being eaten alive from the outside. The Loch Marie fishery is a classic example of what can happen when aquaculture is put in the wrong place. Salmon farming has had a huge impact on the sea trout fisheries, the large mature sea trout on the west coast of Scotland, and the evidence for this is, is pretty overwhelming. I actually started off fishing when I was eight years of age. All I did for my summer holidays was ghillie for people that wanted to fish. So I was ghillieing from the age of about 11. So I'm spanning over a, a, a time span of nearly 50 years. In its heyday, for somebody to get a boat on Loch Maria Tell's beats, then somebody would actually have to pass away. First time I ever gillied in Loch Maria Tell, uh, I would have been 14 at the time, and uh, there were 10 boats fishing out of Loch Maria Tell every day. So that was 10 beats that were fished at the west end of the loch. Every day, you could more or less say through from mid-June right through till say, the 12th of October. Uh, at the moment, I'm possibly the only ghillie and if I go out twice a month, that's a lot. At the east end of the loch, uh, there would be a minimum of four gillies employed. If we went further east into Cowlin, there would be another two gillies employed there. So that's nearly 20 seasonal jobs in a very, a very small area, uh, which is now down to possibly one full-time job for the whole area. Sea trout lay their eggs in fresh water. Uh, the eggs will hatch around about the springtime, where the young fish will spend around about one or two years in fresh water before they migrate to the sea to begin that phase of their, their life cycle. When smolts migrate to sea, they're typically around about 120, 130 millimetres long. Uh, they'll head out to sea and that's when they really start to grow, it's when they, um, they'll, they'll start to put on an awful lot of weight very, very quickly when they're feeding on marine organisms and it's a key part of their life cycle out at sea. In a sea trout population, what you want to see is a mixture of young sea trout, known as post moults or finnick, and you also need those large mature sea trout as part of the population. It's a very important part of the population. Large sea trout produce a large amount of eggs and therefore you need the large sea trout as part of a healthy sea trout population. We know from uh, catch returns and from the work that fishery scientists have been doing that the sea trout populations in the west coast have collapsed uh, in some cases almost completely since the early 1980s and that collapse mirrors very closely the growth of salmon far fish farming uh, in, in that same area. The closer that we are sampling the sea trout to the fish farms, the smaller that they are. They're in a poorer condition. Uh, and that tells us quite a lot about the, the growth of the population, the health of the population, and the impact that salmon far fish farming is having. We know from the Scottish Government's own research that fish farms can have an effect for up to 30 kilometres. Uh, so as a smolt, a sea trout smolt, is migrating out to sea, it's got a very, very good chance of, of being infected by sea lice. In fact, it would be doing very well not to be infected by sea lice. Uh, there's simply nowhere for these fish to go. Salmon farms act as incubators or, or magnifiers of sea lice. So they will take a, a small population of sea lice and grow that by orders of magnitude greater than you would normally find in the marine environment. And it is that vast increase in the numbers of sea lice that has caused such a problem for sea trout populations. The sea lice kill the sea trout by grazing on the mucus and the skin tissues of the sea trout. So they're therefore being literally eaten alive from the outside. It compromises the immune system of the sea trout 
uh, and ultimately leads to secondary infections of bacteria or viruses uh, and will often lead to the, the, the death of the sea trout. The, the research that has been done has shown that up to 13 sea lice on a, on a sea trout will cause harm uh, and likely death. The Loch Marie fishery is a classic example of what can happen when aquaculture is put in the wrong place. Uh, the Loch Marie fishery used to catch over one and a half thousand sea trout every year. A far salmon farm is put in the, in the sea loch at the mouth of the river. There was a dramatic decline in the numbers of mature sea trout that were being caught by anglers. Uh, and that just demonstrates the impact that fish farming can have on, on a fishery, especially one as famous as the Loch Marie fishery. When we're dealing with the collapse of a fish population, it's important to identify the, the bottleneck in production. What is it that's causing the problem? All the evidence that's been collected from the Loch Marie fishery points towards sea lice from aquaculture being the problem. Therefore, if you remove the problem, if you remove the bottleneck to production, the, you should allow the fish, the sea trout, to recover. <laughs>